I've been really, really sick since 2016. So I really have not moved around a lot since then. I haven't done a lot since then. Getting out now, going to the Senior Resources Program is the only thing that I've done within the last couple of months since my transplant. I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure in 2002. I learned that I needed a transplant in 2017. My mother always had heart disease ever since I've been a young child. I learned to cook at five because of her condition and I raised all of my siblings underneath me due to my mother's congestive heart failure. She lived to the age of 56 with hers in and out of the hospital a week at a time, two weeks at a time, a month at a time, most of my childhood. My oldest brother died of congestive heart failure and my two younger brothers died of congestive heart failure. I came to MUSC in 2017 and when I did so, I asked a pretty simple question and that was how many patients in the state of South Carolina um, were on a heart transplant list somewhere in the country. I knew how many we had at MUSC, but I didn't know how many had gone to other centers. And I was a, a bit shocked to find out there was only 40 in the state, which was the lowest per capita in the country, or one of the lowest in the country. And so we've done a lot of work in the last four to five years to make sure that both patients and physicians are aware of the life-saving therapies that we now have for heart failure. It starts with medications, but now that we, we also certainly have options for ventricular assist devices and heart transplantation. So Linda's a, a great example, just uh, has done extremely well. She was actually supported with a left ventricular assist device and then went on to cardiac transplantation and we're very pleased with how she's done. I feel a lot better today. May was a year since my transplant. I felt better immediately it's just a process of getting better once you get the transplant, but immediately you feel the results. Telehealth is really an important part of the care of our patients with heart failure. Now, although many of our patients who have transplants have great support systems and caregivers, it's a challenge to drive all the way down to Charleston. And so sometimes the, the patients can just be at home depending on the needs and what we feel like we need to do to assess that patient. Uh, and there they can interface with the provider just on their smartphone or on their tablet. We can have that conversation. We can check to see how they're doing. Uh, if they're having any symptoms that are concerning, we can send them to a local lab to get those labs done. Uh, the pandemic has been a horrible uh, experience for many people, but I think we've learned a lot in the medical field about not just how to care for really sick patients, but also how to, how to pivot and do things like telemedicine and provide care. So I don't think that's going away. I think we'll always have a hybrid uh, where there may be telemedicine options, again, depending on what the needs are, uh, as well as in-person visits. And I think that combination is, is, uh, is the right approach. Nothing makes me happier than to see someone who is really struggling, patients that are very sick like Linda, that we give them this life-saving therapy and they do extremely well. And that's, that's always the goal. We did 54 transplants at MUSC uh, last year and, and nothing makes me happier than when I get to call a patient and tell them that we have a heart for them and then to see them uh, really just thrive after they leave the hospital like, like Linda has done. So it's the best part of my job. It's why we do what we do and uh, we want to be able to, to offer that to more patients. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, and we pray for every person under the sign of my voice. And I speak blessings and miracles upon each and every one of them right now. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praises for it all. I want to know if the person that gave me a heart was a Christian because I find myself experiencing things differently in my walk with Christ and some of the things is like more. I, I tend to do more than I used to do. I don't know if, it, if it's because of my health and where I am with that or because of my heart. But I, I want to say that I believe that it's because of the person's heart that I have. I, I really believe that it's because of that person's heart.